Begin in extended child's pose with your hips to your heels and your arms stretched out in front of you. Place your hands shoulders distance apart with your fingers spread wide and the index fingers parallel with one another, leaving your hands where they are. With an inhalation, come up to all fours, arching into your spine. Curl your toes under, and with an exhalation, lead with your sitting bones and press your hips up and back. Keep your palms grounded as you press back through your legs. Find length in your spine and let your neck relax. Keep your shoulders rolled open away from your ears. If you feel your shoulders moving forward, bend the knees to release the hamstrings. Then press the torso back towards the thighs. Once the upper body is in a straight line from the wrists through the hips, work towards straightening the legs or keep the knees slightly bent. Hold for three to five breaths. If you only have time for one posture, Adho Mukha Svanasana is a great way to stretch and strengthen the entire body. It also brings some of the benefits of inversions, including increased blood supply to the brain, stimulation of abdominal organs, and a general sense of relaxation. To come out of the posture, lower your knees to the ground, uncurl your toes, and press your hips back towards your heels. Relax your shoulders and let your head become heavy. Rest here for several breaths. <laughs> 